Welcome to the world of AWTech, where tradition meets technology. This instructional video will guide you step-by-step -step on how to properly maintain and operate ASM410A. In this section, we will show you how to disassemble and reassemble the unit. To disassemble, pull up the hopper with the hopper lid. Next, pull the front cover up and out towards you. Then, pull up the hopper base and comb guide. Pull the four feeding rollers out towards you one by one. Next, pull the two forming rollers out towards you at the same time. Then, pull the rear panel out towards you. Finally, lift the turntable off the main unit. To reassemble, place the turntable into the table shaft. Next, spray Autex oil onto the rear panel, then insert following the guide bolt on the main unit. Spray Autex oil onto the two white bottom forming rollers. Align the L marked on the roller to the left and R marked roller to the right to overlay the bumps and dips of the roller's outer surfaces. Keep the L and R rollers overlaid, then insert them into the forming roller shaft together with the L and R marks facing you. Place all feeding rollers onto the corresponding feeding roller shafts. Next, insert the comb guide into the hopper base. Then, spray Autex oil generously onto the hopper base and place it into the main unit with the gear side down. If you are using a front spacer, spray Autex oil generously onto the spacer before placing it into the forming rollers in the unit. Locate the two lower hooks on the front cover and lock them into the main unit first, then the upper hooks onto the strand bosses of the main unit. Finally, place the hopper and hopper lid onto the hopper base. In this section, we will show you how to operate ASM410A. Before production begins, always make sure the emergency button is off. Next, turn the power on. Pour in the shari or sushi rice into the hopper. Begin nigiri production by pressing the start stop button. The following are useful functions on ASM410A and how they work. A mount function controls the density of the nigiri rice balls, which can be adjusted by pressing the plus or minus sign under the word amount. Higher numbers compress a nigiri rice ball together more. Lower numbers uses less rice and allows more air inside the nigiri rice ball. There are two different production modes available on ASM410A. Multiple mode produces nigiri rice balls continuously and single mode produces one nigiri rice ball at a time. For both modes, the sensor is engaged and produces another rice ball when one has been removed. Eight different forming roller sizes are available with ASM410A. As you can see, the different forming rollers create vastly contrasting results. A heat retention function is available with this robot and can easily be turned off and on by the switch located on the back of the main unit. To clean robot parts, wash each item by hand with a soft sponge. Do not use the dishwasher or a hard sponge. All parts should be air dried. To clean the main unit, wipe out the inside of the machine with a soft cloth, especially the sensors. Do not wash down the main unit with water. Here are some helpful tips for ASM410A. For EO error, make sure the front cover is installed correctly. The lock function allows the user to secure their programmed settings by pressing and holding the mode button after you have finished setting your programs. To unlock, press and hold the mode button again. That concludes this guide for how to operate and maintain ASM410A. 
Thank you for choosing Autech for your sushi business needs and please visit www.sushimachines.com for more information.